Yo, you know, there's actually a video of, I don't know if you remember, like, when you go to amusement parks, like when you go to like Disneyland and shit, you could do the little like, the little karaoke music videos. Uh-huh. And there, there's a karaoke music video with Tupac and Jada rapping to Will Smith. Stop playing. I, you, I'm dead ass. Getting jiggy with it? No, I think parents just don't understand. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm, actually gonna... I'm wow. telling you, man, this shit goes deep. This shit goes deep. It's deep. Deeper than Atlanta's deep. Listen. <laughs> you weren't ready for that, were you? I wasn't. I've never seen that. Yeah. Real video. Yeah. I've never seen that. That's, that's you know, uh, that's deep. I mean, you know, not that he's dancing like that, but the fact that, uh, I mean, you got to say, Will Smith was one of the, the hottest rappers in the world. Think about it. At the time, parents just don't understand. I don't. I think it was it was a novelty. I think it was no. a cool little feel good. Parents just don't understand was not the biggest song of the era. Listen yes, he, they won a Grammy for that shit, but but that's when the Grammy. It was had the no first idea. Grammy ever. Yes, but that did not mean that that was the biggest song of that era. You and I remember hip hop in that time. Yes, we listen remember that me. song, but people were listening to Public Enemy way more than Will Smith. No, during that year. No, listen to me. When Parents came out, Parents don't understand came out. Public Enemy, I think, was just coming out. They were just coming out. Because that was, that was um, part of the whole rap where we didn't cuss and he was like, hey, but they would do the WAP and blah, 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 with all that. That was part of the whole LL Cool J. And okay, let me tell you something. 1988, when that song came out, mm-hmm. I looked it up. Public Enemy was in full swing. Uh, don't... Like uh, no. Nation of Millions. Nation of Millions was out that same year. Slick Rick's Children's Story was out that same year. Eric Bean, Rakim, uh, Microphone Fiend was out that same year. Big Daddy Kane, No Half Stepping. EPMD, You Guys to Chill. I what, keep now, going now, on and on Which one of on. those guys got a TV show from their show, from their song? Nobody did. Thank Nobody you. did. But the point is, is that although that song won a Grammy that year, that was by no means the biggest rap song to the rap community that year by any stretch of the imagination. Vlad, you're wrong. Okay. We, we could agree. He got a TV show. show. NBC said, yes. I, I know, Chuck D, you hate white people. We'll create something for you. NWA was out that year. Express yourself. They're Easy not doing a TV like, show like, called Niggas with Attitude. What? This it's is like, what do you, right. hey, you think Ice T's gonna come in <laughs> with a gun? Hey, fuck you. Ice T got a TV show later on. Huh? He's still on that damn TV show. It became, look, television back then was selling, and until today, kinda, was selling Toyota and Cheerios and Thai. Right. Will Smith video looked like a, a commercial. It was right. very colorful, it was very upbeat. His song, his message, parents just don't understand. <laughs> I was, my, oh, Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the, that what it was. It wasn't, yeah. bass, how low? They're not putting that on TV. Death Row. They didn't, the brother knows. They didn't play it on the radio. Right. They wouldn't play them on the radio. Right. NWA, all those groups didn't get played. Uh, the only person that got played on radio was Rock, Eric B. and Rock Kim. And I know that because I was in New York and they had 18,000 different mixes of paid in full. Right. But what I'm saying is, Strayana Compton was out that year as well, the song, and that was one of the biggest songs in hip hop. Fuck the to police the was not going to be a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> right. Parents, I'm. Parents don't understand. Well, mama don't understand. I got the cookies. I like cookies. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they would like. Quincy Jones are like, yes. That's it. Got Parents don't understand. We need to take a black kid from the ghetto and put him in Beverly Hills. We don't understand. <laughs> we don't understand. <laughs> ghetto kids. <laughs> Will Smith was, that's why I say he was like, he was huge. You, you remember summertime, and he would just put out little s- 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 
So sing on summer, summer, yeah, summertime. Yeah, like he, he had some. He had a couple of songs. Like summertime was probably his listen, biggest song. I'm not ever. gonna play the man down. No, listen, man listen. Has. He he had he had some songs. But look, at the end of the day, man, the, the shit happened. We'll see what we'll see what happens. I don't like he hit um, my, you know Chris Rock. Yeah, that hurt me. I, I don't I don't like it either. That hurt that I, hurt I, me. I don't like I was it like, either. Wow, why? And uh, you know, I, I, I I'm surprised Chris Rock doesn't end up suing. I think he is. I think he is. And he, as he should. As he should. I mean, because everybody else sues motherfuckers. I get sued on these dumbass motherfuckers. Fuck it. It's like, what the fuck? Like, that's a legitimate, like, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Cash out. Not even cash out, just because, because. To prove a point. No one's, no one's saying anything. Everything. I even heard it. Will was protecting his queen. Shut the fuck. From what? From what? From a seat joke? Fillers? <laughs> <laughs> Those seat fillers was getting close. And Will said, uh-uh, uh-uh. The fuck you talking about? I'm like, I'm, I'm, it, it's, it's, it's getting, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. The, the, everything's upside down. 